In this video, I talk about the SAMR model. Hi, I'm Kenneth and welcome to my monologue. The SAMR model was introduced to me as a framework which helps educators reflect on how technology is being used to support learning. Created by Dr. Ruben Puente Dura, SAMR is an acronym for Substitution, Augmentation, Modification, and Redefinition. I'll use the example of an English literature class on how it can be utilized. In substitution, technology acts as a direct tool substitute with no functional change. For example, instead of reading a physical copy of Macbeth, students read an ebook. In augmentation, technology acts as a direct tool substitute but with a functional improvement. This would be an ebook copy of Macbeth that allows students to highlight, take notes, and access a dictionary to look up the meaning of words within the ebook reader. At the modification level, technology allows for a significant redesign of the task. In this instance, the assignment for students could be a collaborative project where they co-write a character analysis of the three witches in Macbeth using Google Docs and record an audio podcast that will be shared with the class. At the redefinition level, technology allows for the creation of new tasks that were previously inconceivable. An example off the top of my head would be to use technology to create a complex interactive map of all character interactions with the witches and record reenactments of those interactions. Now, if we look at the model, we can draw a dotted line across the middle, separating the substitution and augmentation from the modification and redefinition. The substitution and augmentation levels are viewed more as enhancements while the other two are more transformational in terms of how technology supports learning. Now here's my reflections on the SAMR model. The good thing about the model is that it's a simple guide, which is, well, simple to understand. And this allows educators to easily identify how they can incorporate technology into their lesson plans to support the learning. The bad thing is that there seems to be a lack of peer-reviewed literature on the SAMR model. Most of the papers I've reviewed seem to cite Dr. Ruben Puente Dura's personal blog in the references. Now that we have covered the good and the bad, let's move on to the ugly. Given the absence of context in this model, it's possible that one can reach the redefinition level without making any significant improvements to learning. And that's my quick review of the SAMR model. Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you found value in this video, please help me out by liking the video. And if you want more content like this, remember to subscribe. If you really want to show your support, you can turn on the notifications as well.